This is Twit. So my question of the day is, what the hell's Ming Chi Kuo smoking? Uh, <laughs> his new rumor is, well, to say the least, a little odd. But which, maybe which one, Leo? There were so many. Sixteen-inch MacBook Pro. <laughs> uh, just imagine a imagine a fifteen-inch with almost no bezel. That's what it is, yeah. right? It's the same size yeah. as a fifteen, but they've just eliminated the bezel. He also says that the new iPad uh, will be bigger too because eliminating the bezel uh it'll be it'll 10. be 10.2 though not 10.5 like the old ipad pro which is now 11 but instead it'll be 10.2 so because confusing. i have to remember all of these numbers uh, like we're going metric again <laughs> <laughs> he uh also said i mean yes he has quite a few rumors it, uh there will that be display though leo can we just focus a lot of attention 6k monitor 6k by 3k which is 2.1 which is super interesting 2.1 aspect ratio yeah what is 2.1? Yeah, two two is there a reason to do 2.1 two by two? one is like what... Well, all the new flagship phones are 2 by one And I don't I don't know. Alex might know like if that's better for cinemagra cinematography or photo. I don't know. No, I don't know. But I mean, it, unless, unless his numbers are wrong, because the 6K by 3K could mean something other than what we're interpreting it as. Yeah, I mean, it is it it is a... I, I don't know if it's any better. I mean, people will say 235 versus 185 are, is usually the two arguments, right? 235 and 185 are usually the things that people uh, worry about there. I do think that it's interesting that Apple would possibly do a display. I think there's an opportunity, there's a business opportunity for Apple uh, to create glass-to-glass -glass hardware encryption, and you would need to own a monitor, you need to do an, a monitor to do that. That means that if you want to stream something, let's say you're a corporation, the only, the only people that have glass-to-glass -glass encryption is the military, you know? And so the ability to say, only these things can can send and only these things can receive and there's a piece of hardware that makes sure that no one else can the best you can do is shoot a video of it would be extremely valuable to the entertainment industry and extremely valuable to corporations and um and so apple's uh you know being able, the only part that they don't control to do that would be the monitor so it, it would be interesting to see them um to go back also down down. micro led which would be interesting too yeah. because it gives you like oled style deep deep blacks without all the mitigations you have to do for oled especially at at larger sizes yep yeah that's that's gonna be monumentally expensive though i love oh, but andy we want it but but but, but, they'll, but, they'll, <laughs> and, but and but now as soon as i said that i realized but the people who want micro led will spend fifteen thousand dollars for a display because they'll make twenty thousand dollars for what would drive it week. though? Because like 6K is like we already had trouble driving 5K. I bought to make a custom Tcon to to drive a 5K 5K display, and Intel has not seen fit to push out new display ports, new Thunder Thunderbolt 4. I don't even think it's a thing yet because there's no PCIe 4. So I'm super interested just in how they're going to implement all this. If it's if it turns would you out to be would true. you need? Do you think would you need Thunderbolt 4? Or you you couldn't do it well, on Thunderbolt you, 3. I don't think it's 60 60 frames per second. Like could you do 6K 60 frames per second on Thunderbolt 3? I think you can. I think it's enough. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on whether it's compressed or not compressed. Yeah. Super interesting. Hmm. I, yeah. Of course, it'll yeah. be expensive and presumably paired with a new Mac Pro, which Quo says yeah. will be modular. Well, thir thir and yep. 30, it, the um, Thunderbolt 3 is 40 gig. Is that right? Yeah. And so 12, 12 G, that's 12 gig, is that's 4K 60. So it would be I I I can't do it in my head, but it would it would be probably it's still they still have a lot of headroom on Thunderbolt three to be able okay, to still good. do that video. So um, what do you think? Ten thousand dollars starting point <laughs> <laughs> for the monitor? No, no, for the Mac Pro Plus. It monitor. was a real interesting <laughs> weird rumor on Telos of Tech, which is a show that Drew hosts, where he said that his source told him that it was literally modular, like you'd buy a brain that had the CPU and the RAM, the memory in it, then you could buy other modules, like an expanded story module, That'd and stack smart. it on top with a proprietary connector, and then you could buy another one, like a SCSI or a uh what's it called connect uh, the other storage protocol connector yeah, and you could stick that on top and it would be almost like a lego a lego I structure think, to i think put some, the parts you wanted i think making it really easy to change and having it be um, to me the, the form factor for this is a 3u you know a 3u computer you know that that you can take the ears off and then you can set it up and it looks pretty but you can set but most importantly for professionals you can put it into a uh easily into a rack mount i mean that is like a huge piece of why we get you know, as a professional, why we get it. Not not as goofy, I want to put it on my computer. On, on my, that's why everyone has those Mac minis is because you put two of them in yeah. one U. And so I think that having a three U solution that is then super easy to open up and change and move around and add things to would be a really great, 
uh, great setup. I think 3U is the minimum. You could go higher, but I think 3U, you, you, it's because of the way you set cards into it. Um, you, you, you would limit it if you go any, any smaller than 3U.